for the soul of Michael, part one, coming very soon, but what will be released? Where the release date? We had to, we all had to wait, folks. We're not done it, we just getting a little bit started for the script. The writer will be, the, the uh, writer, the second one, who is helping me right now, is still a little bit working on it to figure out some ideas for the air scene. If he's not online yet or anything like that, I might have to do a little bit parts of the scene myself. And change a little bit that he just made to make it more to make it much more longer if I had to a little bit parts for more character to be tell about or something else what I mean. Anyways, hope you all understand this video. What it's what is done yet. So these two models are not so done but done. And this first scene are not so done. Also not so done. So what do you think? I think do you think it's fine. nice? Oh my god, why? Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and yeah, the Soul of Michael and the Finance of Fairies remake to the Fast Bird Fright and to 1983 were about to come to be something new once in this year and to 2021. That you're all excited to be ready, that you're ready for the free remake trilogies and focusing on the next sequel that's still continuing for the new Tronic universe. But you're still confusing this very day about why this story is focusing on something new that is focusing on the type of warriors, robots in disguise, or Michael becoming something different without being some sort of spring trap animatronic, and Jenny and she met some other character that she will be some type of hero with fires or something, powers. Yeah, these ideas are going to uh, make you all disappointed at me because I'm bringing these ideas too much, pushing those ideas to the story too much. Because it would have, if it was meant since it first started with Finance of Freights back in 2016, and I was continued with more sequels and closely to end it in 1983. And then with that teaser, since Scott Coffin did an idea for Sister Location that comes tonight with Spring Chop showing up of the word I'm going to come find you. So that's why my idea got a little bit messed up and decided to make another sequel just in case it's the last night will be its last. It was back in the early 2017. That was the idea. But then looking at these art videos and whatnot and more horror movies I'm watching once I wanted to continue a little bit more. A little bit more stories about Michael a bit and have some simple horror in it. And that idea a little bit delay and continue with it in 2018. And if it was an idea, back in 2017, the late year of it, it was an idea of ending that movie to be the last. Another time. Until 2018. Another idea looking at these are stories or action stuff. It makes me think about again. The changing after Jenny and Chris Christian left. Until something changed, something having the ending change because there was used to be a Naruto original ending to, to end the trilogy already. Having the idea of it that it's not taking them to SCP or anything, it's making them leaving that town, this neighborhood, and have a happy life. They both split up, and Jenny will continue with a new life, and Michael would still stay dead. That he is the last villain we ever have. And there'll be no such thing as Night Scar, this new villain for the Soul of Michael movie. And so, the story was going to end there, but new ideas going to change again because superhero stuff, he's heroes, powers, new villains or not, doesn't make sense, you know. And you all know it's true. It doesn't make any sense because if there will be any type of prequels. So it would be like five prequels or something, or even a prequel series. I don't know. And so, The Soul of Michael was a big idea for it to come out. 
it was supposed to come out in 2018 because I was starting on the script early and finished part one. And I was planning on, I was working on some, so many Moicat maps for the movie because I was about to work on the SCP map and some few little bit towns around, a little bit close to the last night movie t town or the neighborhood. But now things change now in the late year. So now I'm going to try to think about well, it's really difficult to bring so many players or whatnot, so how about a full Minecraft Link movie that is mostly an animation? A full length animation or whatnot. And if that's gonna happen, and I was planning on working on it, having the type of teasers of these new looks of the characters, testing out things before animating, and I was working on one, but then it came out very well because Big things of the stupid, crashy, and glitchy stuff that I'm having on the software, but you don't believe that I didn't. Maybe because I have an old PC or too much dial downloading stuff, I don't know. And I was working on it and adding so many schematics of these rigs, so many maps, but it didn't work for me. I have so many arrows for no reason. Like, really? And hey, now my animator, owner or the creators of my animator, making these updates. Saying, oh, we're going to make another update to fix the bugs, these arrows. But it didn't happen. Until a new update came this year, it didn't go so well. I was working on the NAR mic up animation for it with custom textures until it keep loading and loading every single hour in one day. It didn't work. It was crashing. I was trying to exit and go back and do it again. Or, I don't know, re download it back to the old version but nothing happened like I don't know what the hell just happened like I don't know because I don't I can't explain what just happened I was down I was importing the texture the cut them texture to make it to work on the map for this animation for the solo Michael for one scene but the, it keeps loading and loading it's it mostly crashing so I had no choice I don't know if I had to use it for the normal texture of Minecraft, I don't know. Could you folks or you can be using new type of texture packs like my friend Gordon Freddy did. Cause you try to be something new. Making this world Minecraft something better. Without being like a normal type of Minecraft or anything. Anyways. That the soul of Minecraft is going to continue with more stories. That continue after to the next chapter after Soul of Michael will be the one to be Another idea for these are prequels to learn about Michael, Nitro, and even about their home that these robots, these warriors, and Terratons use to live called Corridon. It's supposed to be that other type of movie. How this all started between these characters after they, before they land to Earth, before they turn themselves to humans, they lost their memories or whatnot. Anyways, and so it's going to continue with more and more new villains, more heroes, and bring Mongo back for once more if he's going to be the new, the same main villain we all know. But no, not entirely. But if he was. Because if he was supposed to be the main villain of the story, if he was meant to die in the House of Red, it wouldn't be the end of the trilogy. And no. Because the type of ideas I'm watching these videos on YouTube makes me think about... Oh, I want to work on something that looks like that. I don't know. Because similar to Scott Coffin, you know. Because like how Matt Pat said in this video, he always keeps saying about Scott Coffin is going to work on a new book and some to similar or represent to one of these stories he just watched or something. I don't know. Or the games. I don't know. Anyways, and so it's going to continue much more, but not without me. Without me, yo, the story will continue with something different without my ideas because they're going to continue with more things about Nigel Plex, Jenny Caton, and her own type of future boyfriend Jacob Mike Jacob Mikel and or Michael I don't know and then Michael will come back as an art villain well of course he is but even more things about Terra Dawn's coming back and more warriors showing up and they're going to keep continue fighting and more secret things happening around the earth. And it's not just a random planet. Rather, uh, some to our ancient evil who's mostly a big giant monster who's mostly an evil than the Pterodons named Zaltron or whatnot. I don't know, Zalto, uh, no, I can't figure out the name. And so, 
and it will be more James Bond Michael's new daughter. Well, I forget, I don't know her name that these ideas will come out, and Nitros has a daughter too, but even has a son. That the son will have a himself a prequel movie, and continue with a sequel will be called Spacefall or whatnot. That that was in some sort of abandoned planet with some horrifying creatures they tried to escape. And so, big things about that, and things that, I don't know, because another villain that's some sort of queen or whatnot will try to rule the Corandon and Terradons and warriors, big things, and even more things about Michael's daughter and Nacho's daughter trying to fight each other, if they, or they try to work together. And big things with Jenny and her own type of new family with Jacob of their own children and uh, more battles, more secrets about these ancient prophecies of these new evils and new heroes. And in the final chapter with seven more chapters to go in the final one, that Nacho will finally defeat Zaljon, the final villain, and he will sacrifice himself because this new body of his, because he was now dead in one of those other chapters and come back to life as some sort of big planet or these, this big giant robot figure will might try to defeat Zaltron and then and hit Zaltron towards a big sun because in science or biology so these type of photos they found some other suns out there in the galaxy better than this sun we have right now if there was like a big big sun that could defeat Zaltron and it did and so Zal Nitro had to sacrifice him to, to give a life of core to a new planet they're all living. Every Pterodons are now good, working for the warriors and everything. All the people saying goodbye to Nitro at the last and their own hope leader, their own hero to sacrifice himself to save their all new world and a galaxy would continue in peace. And that's how it goes. And more, so yeah, this story is mostly just about these type of warriors and pterodons. If it was, I would have done a reboot already. Like, would I? I don't know. Because I don't want to do a more, I don't want to do a reboot because it would take too long to get to, to more chapters. Because I just want to end this trilogy right now. If I was, back in 2018. Anyways, it's, now it's been like three years since 2018. No, 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 wait. Two years, like 2009, I mean 2019 plus 2 equals 2020. No, no, damn it! I meant 2018. Okay, 2018 plus 2 equals 2020. So it might be like that. Or it might be three years since 2018 to that. I don't know. Since nothing yet happening for the Neutronic Universe, just myself doing so many review videos to this very day. But now... Even for Friday the Freddy's remake to the Festival Friday 1983, I don't know if the remake should happen because should I? Because I truly want to make the story much more understandable. Because the last time my original doesn't. It's just focusing on some things about this random character going on a job and then die by the animatronics. Just that. And then Fast Friday Fright with a sequel. Continuing with this new purple guy in Spring Trap. Going to hunt town going to hunt hunted the fast bear fright or whatnot and it's burned down just does that just like the original and even I take read a prequel that focusing on what happened to the murder what happened to these kids before all this happened even with the bite of 83 and then times go by and now I'm making some more prequels of these art free audio dramas or whatnot or maybe it was two and so that happened, and then we get back to the sequel. And the House of, House of Fred was meant to be his last. Anyways, but to the remakes, I don't know if I wanted that to happen, but my friend Going Freddy Gaming always wants me to do it, so. permanently, I don't know. I don't know why. Because. I don't know. He's not a director, I'm a director here. If he was a director, he would keep it going. But I don't know, if he would, he wouldn't make a script. Because without a script, there'd be no ideas for the story, nothing for the characters, nothing. 
Because he never done one for the his own other previous Minecraft movies. Nothing. And so, um... Uh, I don't know if I want to continue because I have so many plans with these new Minecraft movies and series to go on to without continuing on Neutron Universe. Because I know you folks or, you, or your fans don't enjoy the Neutron Universe because there's nothing about it anymore. It's like, it's just getting boring and boring and boring. Nothing much for these new characters or anything. And the Soul of Michael is going to be something big that you'll all be excited by. I wish for that to happen, but I know you don't. Because not much views, not much comments, nothing. Like, nothing. Just nothing. Because I'm a YouTuber who's not been shown that much about Realm on YouTube. It's fine. Because it's not about being popular editing. It's just showing your creativity. Anyways. That Soul of Michael was really a perfect idea to be made. To if it was because back in 2018 was meant to uh, end it this time, but now no because years go by, your mind going to make you change to a different idea to keep it continue with more stories for no reason, Re referencing to these movies or these series. I don't know, cause you're running out of ideas. Until I'm running out of ideas, if I if I, if I have to stop it, to stop making these new Tronic Universe movies. And just stop it. Just make the House of Fred at the last. Just end it. If I would have just changed the word to Soul of Night trilogy, if it would have just continued with the Final Freddy's, I don't know. Anyways, um, that's that the new Sonic Universe was really fun for me to work on, but until years go by, that I have haven't get a word yet by Red One, the animator who's working on the Soul of Michael Part One. And nothing yet happening for his respawn or anything, cause he's pretty busy on our things right now, like, you know, school stuff, cause school stuff. It's really now important to this very day. <clears throat> and so, um, I was helping him try to keep it going, to keep things faster, make things quick, while the other new voice actors are coming up to wait things, and nothing yet happening. Like, I got all the voice actors ready, but I had to wait for the voice actor of Jenny Caton to come back. But nothing yet happening. Or even nothing yet for Night Score if I had to recast him a third time, I don't know, to uh, Toast Homie, who did the voice on uh, on Blake from the Return to Freddy's, my cat movie, on part one. And so, I don't know. Would, it, would this continue? No. I don't know, because... If I had a decision, because I'm the creator of the new Times Universe, because there's no way Gordon Frank would try to force me to keep it continue if there's nothing important about it. Would it? Would you all, folks? Would you think this story of New Times Universe would continue with these new random story that doesn't make any sense? I don't know. Because it was a big idea back in 2018, but now. It's not. It's not. Not a thing. It's no longer, folks. So, now myself as a creator who will now leave, this, leave the trilogy and maybe decide to cancel it. Alright. So, it's time to cancel it, folks. It's my final decision. Because I know you folks don't feel like you're excited for the movie anymore. Because there's nothing important about it. So... It is going to be the end, folks. This is my last video about the Neutronic Universe. But if you folks want to continue, then make your own type of story. Make your own type of new reboot. Make your own reboot. Make your own type of new Minecraft movie that follows it. Or just do a reboot. Make it on your own channel, not on mine. Just could make your own story for it. So if you want to continue, just, just do it right now if you want to on your channel. On your own type of project or anything that you work on. Don't have me, don't bring me back as a director or producer or writer. I'm done. I'm just going to stop. I'm canceling now. And it's going to be the end. And what about the Final Fantasy Freddy's remake to Fazbear Fight in 1983? It's not going to happen because I have difficult time to work on script to bring it back. And nothing yet happening from the Google company to message me back because they had to 
to busy on the others, of course, because it's really important to help the others. Because I tried to find some videos of how to get the scripts back, because I accidentally remove it on Google Drive to the trash and remove it. Because these stupid storage are about to be full. Because I tried to get all the videos, all the scenes, record scenes from the Final of Freddy's remake to be ready. Man, it's really difficult, you know? Getting your movie ready? It's really difficult to how much your network is slowing things down because it's not working that much. And so, um... What am I going to say? So... If... If the Google company, Google, if the Google company didn't fix it, didn't bring it back, because there's no way to bring your own, recover your file back away from the trash to bring it back to you. Because there's one video I saw it happen, which it could be true right now, because there's too many updates going to mess things up right now. Hope it's true. If it did, then I would work. Then I would still keep, still work on the remake of Five Nights at Freddy's, Two Fights for Fright, and 1983. Um. Yeah, but if you didn't, I tell you to cancel because I'm tired of working on the top of my cat movies. Because I'm not gonna work on new mo new my cat movies and series. Going to be things about the grief, a horror map m movie. Based on the horror map game on Grief on Minecraft. And next one will be going to be Granny and more things, even Transformers Minecraft movie. And even work, still working on the Space Outbreak to Lloyd Leah and the Fested Outbreak. Um, you know what? I Maybe I shouldn't announce or release the Lloyd Leah and, and Fested Outbreak so early. I would still continue on. Space Outbreak first because it's really difficult to work on free series right now. Anyways, yeah, it is going to be the end. This is the end, folks. So say goodbye to the New Drunk Universe. Even myself, as the creator of New Drunk Universe, going to say goodbye to it and have this at the last. And going to Freddy, going to Freddy Gaming, if you're watching this, don't try to make me try to keep coming to bring it back because. Are you really, do you really want it back? Then explain why. Don't just say, because I want it back, that's why. You need to know, you need to explain the reason why. Don't try to, and even find it's phrase remake, don't try to make, force me to keep it up going and make me try to make another script for it. If I would, we would, I don't know, we record every scene again. Because I forgot how all the lines, all the scenes had to go. Because when I was trying to start on the script again, it was really difficult now. Because I really forgot all the lines, damn it. <sighs> and so, just because I'm bad at making my guy movies, because I thought some of my guys going to be ready and finished right now. And even Final the Freddy's remake and other series but nothing. I'm not gonna be some sort of whiny little complaining YouTuber or anything. I'm not. Just having our time to work on these stuff. Because I know you folks don't didn't comment anything about what about this? What happened to it? Why you didn't bring it back? I don't know. So yeah, folks. This is my final decision. I mean. My final video about saying goodbye to New John Universe is the cancel of it, even the Final Fantasy Freeze Remake Trilogy. That's mostly the Solid Night Trilogy. So yeah, folks, this is the end. Have your comments down below if you want to say anything. So please, go ahead and say goodbye to it. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys in another time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye, Neutronic Universe. It's been fun. Goodbye.